one, two. Are you okay? What should you do? Orbs, can you help her? Carlan? Give her air. What happened? So we had like these sort of evaluations and um, I went for my one to full and I went into it and then I landed short. Did you do what you did last year? Oh my God, what happened? What did you feel? What did you do? What was she doing? What happened, Carlin? Was it on the takeoff or on the landing? Landing. Do you remember how you landed? Did you land on your knee or did you land with straight legs? Sideways on my. I felt my kneecap pop out and like it wasn't that bad, but what like concerned me was that that was the fourth time it's popped out. You were doing so good. Was that the first one of full you did? Okay. You felt like you're gonna hurt your knee today, yeah, like when you woke no, up. Carlin, I can't with you right now. <laughs> no, that's the thing. No, I okay, swear. Yeah, she's psychic. Don't worry. She's psychic. She knew this I was gonna swear. happen. I swear. No, that's the thing. I understand what she's saying. I could tell already, like when it first happened, it was bad, but I know it wasn't as bad as last year. So I know that I could, like, like if I heal correctly and like wait it out for these weeks then in the end I think I could push through and like be on the mat because I don't want to go through what I went through last year. So make sure we're getting in the gym and getting our skills consistent. There's still people that tried out with more and did less today so that that doesn't go unnoticed okay. If you are here like you're here like we made it through the summer so it's go time. Choreography is this weekend and then we have we're putting this together, whether you like it or not, with or without you, okay? Um, it's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be worth it at the end, okay? Spam man three, don't say it if you don't mean it. One, two, three, spam get out! Five, seven, eight, one, five, four, five, seven, eight, one. Finally started plugging everything together. We have partial pyramid, we have a Foley, and you know, right now it's just grind time. It's a lot of down because obviously we've never done the routine together, but we're slowly starting to get to the climb. One, three, five, seven, eight. One, three, five. So uh, Coach Brittany is actually working with us today, and she came a little I think she came around NCA last season to work with us, and that was the first time we met her. One, three, four, five. Okay, stop. This thing, did it ever get resolved? Because, uh, that was a good one. Like, I'm kind of sad I drove three hours to see that. <laughs> okay, you're gonna do that again. I think right now, we're working hard, but we're kind of, like Orby said, we're a little chill right now, and so he has been telling us to, like, we need to pick it up. One, three, four, five, seven, eight, one, up, three. Oh, Lord Jesus. I told you. We gotta take practice more seriously, like we gotta get this and this done, and we still have routines to run, and we have showcase in like a couple weeks, so I think, oh, we're still working hard, but like, I think we need to work a little bit harder. Really? Can you warm up your jumps? I know you hate me. I'm asking you to do jumps. I don't hate you. Thank you. I love Coach Brittany. She's just a different light in the gym. Like she's the same, but different in the way that she's tough. Brittany. I love her. Last year um, was her first year with us, and we kind of, as a team, got off in a rough start with her. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. Listen up. Listen up. You're gonna warm up your jumps. You're going to do, um, you're gonna get, after you warm up your jumps, you're gonna get a quick drink of water. You're gonna come back out. You're gonna do your jumps. You're gonna do your standing tumbling. 
Okay. So my first impression of Brittany is that she's straight to the point. She drives a long way out here, so she doesn't want any BS at all. She basically is just like, this is what I'm giving you, and if you guys don't do that, it's like a waste of my time. Okay, doing your standing tumbling and your jumps. Got it? Then you're gonna go get another drink of water, and we're gonna do just your opening elites with the counter. Got it? By the end of practice, I would like to do all of that together. And I expect at least two out of the three groups to hit. Do we get that? So do you understand how that's gonna work? If it doesn't work out like that, we're gonna have some issues. Cool? At first, I was kind of like iffy about it because I have a strong personality and I don't know, I th she just shut it down, you know, with every single person. So, you know, she's cool. You know? No, seriously, she's fine. She's definitely different than Eddie and Orby, so I think it's just when we had a hard time with her before, it was we just it was something new that we weren't used to. But I love her. She's an amazing coach. She coaches a high school team in Tulare, I think. And they're like the best high school team I've ever seen. Like they're so amazing. So having her here is kind of just a new voice. So it's not the, like the same thing every single day. There's so much talent out there, but you're looking, it's it's like you're looking for like what's next out there. That's what it looks like. You get what I'm saying? Like it's like you, it's like you you look like you don't know what's coming next, some of you guys. I need you to do that run one more time. And you need to stop looking at the floor. Like the floor is gonna give you answers to where you're supposed to go. There's no lighted path. This isn't like, you know, United Airlines. So we just finished up choreography and this routine is so hard. <laughs> it's actually pretty awesome though that at this time in the season where our routine is already so jam-packed with skill. Your flyers, use your legs. I'm gonna tell you this is the biggest lesson you're gonna learn, especially when it comes to your level. Technique does not get tired. If you rely on your technique, you will not get tired. It's definitely in my opinion, one of the hardest routines I've ever had. There's a lot of stuff that's going, like there's no breathing room for anybody. It's a lot of action uh, in everything, but I think it's really, I think it's entertaining. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes, wait. Guys, what you're trying to say it was, it was Enrique's fault. Right? <laughs> Guys, over here real quick. Una mas. Hi guys, welcome to Sunday Practices. Things are going great. We've been going at it for like an hour and the kids are dying. So, welcome to the rest of the season, everyone. It's gonna be great. So we got our choreography and um, we've been working on hitting our stunts and tumbling run through so we can all have the stamina to do our full outs when the time comes because showcase is in a couple of weeks. Well we have kind of the basic structure of some of our routine. There's some sections that we still haven't done but we've been running through those with tumbling and um, working on what our stunt section is going to be like and yeah just kind of fine tuning little details. So the team right now is not necessarily struggling, we're just trying to find who's best for the team and who's gonna fit where. Coming off of Cali camp, they had a lot of personnel change. So I came back, stepped in, and right now we're still looking for two flyers. We're still looking for that fourth, fifth boy. <laughs> boys are not quite where we need them to be right now. Last season we had five strong solid boys. Because small senior co-ed, like 
you rely on those five boys and we just don't have that backbone of the team right now and it's really lacking and you can kind of see it right now just throughout daily practices. Since camp we've picked up a couple new boys. We have Gavin from uh, West Virginia and we have Stays from Louisiana and uh, they seem to be really hard workers. I was like, you know, I'm gonna take a chance on these guys. They don't have everything that I need right now, but they seem to be the type of kids that I'm looking for. I'm Stace, I'm 18 years old, and I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I started cheering after my sophomore year of high school because I used to tumble on a, just at school to show off, but it wasn't really tumbling, it was just flips. So uh, this girl invited me to a tumbling class. I went, ended up trying out, and did my first two years at that gym. Now I'm here. I found out about California All-Stars at Worlds, just knew they were big name teams, and I came here because uh, I wanted to be on a Worlds team that tumbled, and I couldn't do that back home. So I saw at East tweet that they needed a boy, and just stepped up. And a sophomore year, I started CrossFit and Cheer at the same time, and did that for a year and a half. CrossFit is, um, it's like weightlifting, gymnastics, and running mashed together. It's uh, just intense fitness, just getting getting swollen fast and flexible all the time. <laughs> it's really stressful on the body. It's made me who I am today. I first started CrossFit because I was chunkier at the time. I'm like, it's a way to lose weight and you know, all that. So I got into a gym, did that for a year and a half as well as my first year's cheer. So got into that. It helped me as an athlete and cheer cheer helped with CrossFit and yeah I wouldn't be the same person if it wasn't for both of those. Okay so let's talk about your hair. Oh no. <laughs> Rest in peace to the locks of love. <laughs> Grown it out for two and a half years and it was about maybe a foot long at that point. It was nasty sometimes but it was great some other times so I just went for it. I gave it to someone and say, hey, donate it. Don't know what to do with this. You can do it. I like that it can go towards something, something good, you know. I mean, I'm glad that I'm doing something to help. We have two possible new flyers. Hannah came in last week and tried out for Smoed. Did an amazing job. Uh, Maddox, today is her first day. Surprise, welcome her first Sunday practice. Hasn't passed out yet, so that's good. We're not really sure if they're gonna work out yet, you know? Um, just because you're an amazing flyer somewhere doesn't mean you're going to be the perfect fit for Smoed. My name is Hannah and I'm 16 years old and I believe this is my fifth season cheering. Uh, my name is Maddox, I'm 14 years old and this is my 10th year cheering. Don't break in half, Hannah. So I started off at this gym called Palm Beach Lightning. It was about like an hour from my house and then last year was my first season at Top Gun. I started at this gym called Infinity All-Stars, and I cheered there for eight years, and then Top Gun last year was my first year, so. One full leg count up, one full leg count down, take your time nice and slow, then fast and fast on the kicks. Five, six, seven, up, one, two. So we're both from Miami, and um, last year was our first year cheering together, and um, we just built like a really good friendship. And so both of our dreams have been smothered for a while, and so we just decided that like since the opportunity came about, we were like, let's try it out. So now we're here and trying it all out and everything. Three, hurdler four, five, toe six, seven, up, eight, one, toe, back, five, and it's up. You're doing a right hurdler, but facing the left, and then toe touch to the front. So you guys can work on that back on the floor. And we're actually, we're living on our own, well, with a host family but we both flew out here together. It's just like weird because like we both never really lived away from our like home and we're living actually like two hours away right now. But um, it's just like, it was hard at first because like it's hard to live away from your family, but it's nice like we're in California. And press one, one, two, three, chin, and set one. Nope, do it again, you're being sloppy. Nope, nope, nope. Not today, Satan, not in my realm. 
It feels like every week we have new athletes trying out. And again, we're looking for a specific type of athlete and uh, we're hoping that it works. Just, you know, we have five stunt groups and the bases are all there. It's just, we need those two flyers. Clean. Two, three, up. So we're just switching in and out. We are rotating and they were just like helping us with like the spots and everything. It was a little nerve wracking just cause like I was also new and then so like someone else came in. We were just switching in and out. We're just trying to find those new flyers, trying to find the best new boys and just trying to hopefully get it all together to find the best 22 people to put on the floor. Up, let's go, two, three, and four, five, and seven, eight, and one, and two, go, three, and four, five, seven, up, one, and two, and three, and four, five, and hello, pass, one. Jack, your leg, Jack, your leg, Jack, Jack. One touch, two, three, and four, five, pull, six, stick, up, one. And three up four, five and seven and one touch two, three and four, five, four, six. Thank you, Jesus. One. What's going on with that pocket of three ladies? The blind donkeys with three legs, eyeball, no tail. Let's go. It's a classic. My grandma has better timing. She's dead. That got dark. Gavin, are you okay? Turn your frown upside down. And just, just we're the new guys. We, we didn't. It was kind of a neutral feeling between us because, like, we're new here. We're all kind of scared. It's a high caliber team. We're all trying not to disappoint them. Five and seven, up, eight, sharp, one, let's go. And five and seven, eight, sharp, two, three, five, seven, up, one, three, and five, strong, seven, and. And we start back at nine. It was supposed to be one and done. Take four. Stick up, let's go. Two, three, and four, five, and seven, eight. One, up, two, three, five, seven, up, one, three, and five, strong, seven, and one, and two, go, three, and four, seven, eight, one, two, and three, up, four, five, touch, six, seven, and one, touch, two, three, and four. Stace and Gavin, can we have like a come to Jesus really quick? It's Sunday. And one, if they don't tumble on the right count together, um, you lose your privileges to breathe. I feel like Eddie is feeling some kind of pressure right now because a lot has changed these few months and him having to find the right fit for each dunk group and just trying to get everything done in a short amount of time. I did start getting nervous because of our time frame. You know, the summer is winding down and we're going into the fall and these positions are still not filled. And three, up four, five and seven, and one touch, two, three and four, five, pull six, thank you Jesus, one. Stick up, five and seven, and one, stick up. Sam's timing was off, just kidding, he's by himself. Go get some water. It's a little scary, we just need to tie down this team and get to work as fast as we can. We have to hit the ground running. So it's really important for these kids to get in the gym, make sure their skills are perfect, their technique is perfect, and you know, th this needs to be another Cali Smoad year. I expect at least two out of the three groups to hit. I understand, Jade, that we're having a couple of issues with that last part, so I'm not gonna like marry you to that, got it? But I do expect the beginning part to hit because it hits beautifully. Understand? <laughs> flying this um, like the first couple of months it is a goal to keep flying but I mean he has told me that if he needs to bring down a flyer it would be me yes I want to I want you to have a big talk with them if you want to if you want to go for it I'm down for you guys to go for it but I want to see you like fight you know what I mean like if I will you have to have that stopping point
<laughs> you see what I'm talking about there? Jade has absolutely beautiful lines. Everything she does in the air, she does it with performance and just pretty. Everything's really pretty. At the beginning of the summer, we talked about it. This is what I need from you. And she's been working towards it. So um, my freshman year, I was a flyer for um, All Star and high school. And so that's, I think that was the last time I flew, except for the year I was on Samoa, I did like a little arabesque in the back and then that was it. <laughs> so Michael Letty, Kulani, me and Jade. So it was like a really good vibe and things weren't just hitting like they like should be. Orbeez, he did tell me just to get a little bit more flexible, which I have been doing. I've been doing um, like stunting classes. Oh my God, that killed me. Like I have, six-year-olds in that class are like so bendy and I'm like over here pulling my Dorito chip. So I'm like, yeah, I can do this. But he just said to keep working hard, keep getting more flexible, show me that you can be capable up in the air. I love Jade. Um, I want her to fly really, really, really bad. But unfortunately and fortunately, I have Tara who got hurt last year that probably weighs under 90 pounds, I would say right now. So I have that group uh, struggling just a little bit when in reality it wouldn't struggle with Tara. And so, but that's hard. That's hard for a, a female. That's hard for anyone to hear, but specifically a female and one that's been working on it. When I first started um, flying, I wasn't really confident in myself because I haven't done it in a long time and I know that like I just I always do this to myself I always compare my body to like all the other flyers I'm like they're so skinny and like I want to be like that but I see that on social media like with like everybody oh she's a thick flyer I'm like yeah I, I know I'm pretty thick but um like compared to like all the girls in the cheer world you know they're they're not used to seeing muscular flyers you know they're also like tiny little toothpicks and I don't know, I'm like, I'm not bothered by it, but like, I kind of am because I don't like to be called thick because you know, like, it's just, I don't know. During the summer, she was doing a lot of stunting with Bobby, Vanessa, we like just messing around. I think it really caught the eye of everybody at how talented she really is. She's been asking everybody, how am I doing? And like, we always have positive feedback when she's in the air. She's a beautiful flyer. Her lines are gorgeous. Like, there's nothing wrong with her being in the air. She's a great flyer. So, um, and Ricky, um, we've been dating for three years now, so um, now he he's on the same team as me this year again. Uh, we were both on Smoed in 2017, so I think it's going to be exciting to <laughs> have him on the team again because he's a good teammate. He's um, very motivational. I do I do feel more confident when people are like, "You're doing good." Like, you I'm really actually surprised how good you're doing. And I'm like, "Well, thanks." Like, it actually it boosts me up a little bit. I've given her all summer, but I just have smaller people on the floor. And I hate to say it that way because her body is absolutely beautiful and there's nothing wrong with it. But if I have someone that weighs a little bit less and the bases can hold her up easier and they have the same flexibility, then that's the decision for me. I'm Bobby. I've been cheering for nine years and I'm back again. <laughs> I coach at Channel Islands High School now. This is my third year. I'm so excited. We had to fill in a, a spot because a girl got injured. Um, unfortunately, she tore her hamstring. Uh, you're the third one, so H. Hold it just like a little bit longer. How is it going so far? Um. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Catch you later.